Unlike hacking in online video games, which can get you banned or hacking into people's bank accounts, which can get you in prison, the following life hacks are risk-free and quite useful. If you ever want to know how much life is left in a battery, because it's an ancient technology that doesn't tell you on a screen, you can perform this simple test. Watch what happens when I drop this fully charged battery, it makes a thud sound and will often stand up without bouncing around. Now, watch what happens with this dead battery. A dead battery like this will have quite a bit of spring to it and often will not stand up. This works with all alkaline batteries. When the alkaline in the batteries wear down, it creates a gas inside, which causes the battery to bounce. If you need to write something down, but you don't have a pen and paper handy, and you don't want to go to the trouble of opening up and saving a Word document, any web page can we come up blank notepad. Just type this into the address bar and type away. You can then save it as a bookmark for later. Did you know that you can create a powerful macro lens for your phone's camera with nothing but water? All you have to do is put a drop of water on the tip of your finger, then transfer it directly onto your phone's outward facing camera. Now you can film stuff up close, but with much greater detail. This works because water droplets are highly curved and convex, just like a magnifying glass. Using the pencil, a light bulb, a wire, an extension cord, and a clamp, you can mark your name on metal objects. First, remove the metal cap from the pencil and file it down so that the lead is visible. This is so that you can wrap the wire around the lead. After it's secure and you've sealed it on with a lighter and a rubber pencil sleeve, cut off the end of your extension cord so that the wires are exposed. Now that they're exposed, connect them to the wire, attach to the pencil and run it through the light bulb. Use the remaining wire to connect the light bulb to the clamp. Now take the metal object that you want to brand, secure the clamp to it, and plug in the extension cord. You can now carefully write on any metal object with the pencil. It's a handy way to name tag your possessions. Try this at your own risk though. Playing with electricity like this isn't advised unless you know what you're doing until a brilliant inventor creates a hanger that doesn't leave shoulder bumps and sweaters. You can hang them up like this instead. First, fold your sweater directly in half. Then place the top of the hanger in the armpit and fold it in half. Once more, the flashlight feature on most phones has a wide range but provides a very dim light. You can create a more powerful, more focused light by taping a short length of straw directly over the light on your phone, like this. Now your flashlight is far more focused. Even if you're not a farmer, it's very easy to grow your own green onion. All you have to do is put the root end in water and the entire stock will grow back. Eat, keep the root end, and repeat. You'll never have to buy green onion again. If you are the type of person who tends to accidentally butcher cakes when attempting to cut them, try using unscented dental floss instead. It's easy to make precise cuts and works on cheeses and other soft solids as well. Do you have to carry your groceries an inconvenient distance? Or do you simply enjoy the great pleasure of managing to carry all of your groceries at once? By securing all of the bags together with a large carabiner, you can now transport them in one go without slicing your fingers off. Mark Zuckerberg and FBI Director James Kamai both cover the webcams on their computers because of how easy it is for hackers to gain access and watch you through it. If you'd like to do the same but don't want to use tape because of the sticky residue it will leave on the camera, you can create a simple cover by bending a paper clip, attaching a rubber pencil sleeve, sealing it on with a lighter, and then securing it over your webcam. A paper clip can also be a good replacement for a zipper that's become detached. Just attach the paper clip where the original zipper used to be, and then seal it on with a rubber pencil sleeve and a lighter so that it doesn't fall off and meet the same fate. You can save time when folding t-shirts by using this more efficient alternate method. Hinge halfway between the collar and the sleeve with one hand and halfway down the side of the shirt with the other. Then bring your top hand down to the corner and just uncross your arms. You can also use a t-shirt to save space when packing place a pair of underwear and other small items, such as a toothbrush in the middle of the shirt. Then fold the sleeves and then layer socks on the sleeves so that the open end faces. Rolled his shirt up starting from the bottom, and then tuck everything into the socks to secure everything in a neat bundle. If there are mysterious eggs that have been in your refrigerator for an amount of time, and you're no longer sure if they should be eaten, then try this test. Fill up a container with water and place the egg inside. An egg that's fresh will lay flat on its side or raised up slightly at the larger end. Any other eggs that rest on the smaller end are stale and ones that float are rotten. Old eggs float because as the egg ages, air enters the egg and the air cell becomes larger, and this acts as a buoyancy aid. Are you ever annoyed by the fact that you can't control F a real physical piece of paper? Achieve the next best thing by making an index in the front of your notebook and then making a small mark on the side of the paper. Whenever you use a particular key term. Removing broken light bulbs can not only be annoying but dangerous as well.
Luckily, a potato can come in handy in this situation. Simply sink the shards into the vegetable and unscrew. Similarly, a piece of bread comes in handy for the small pieces of glass on the floor. It can be used to safely pick up the glass fragments by dabbing the area of broken glass like a sponge. If you want to eat the potatoes that you aren't using to remove broken light bulbs, here's a quicker way to peel them. Make a skin-deep incision around the entire potato and boil it. After it's boiled, place it into a container filled with ice water, and you'll find that the peel can be quickly and easily removed with just your hands. And still the potato is not done giving. Save the produce bag that the potatoes came in and wrap it around a bar of soap. It can now be used as a gentle scrubber to remove what a slick bar of soap couldn't. It can also be used on its own to clean pots and pans or any surface without leaving scratches. This is the perfect example of something you can reuse and save money by using. Scissors will eventually become dull after repeated use. You can restore them to their original sharpness by folding a piece of sandpaper in half with the grain facing out on both sides and cutting it with the scissors. After you're done, wipe the scissors down with a cloth to remove any leftover grit and your resharpened scissors are good to go. If you peel a sticky note off starting from the opposite side of the stickiness, it will inevitably become annoyingly curled. However, if you start from the side, you can keep it nice and flat. Should your screw driving efforts ever require more force than you see to be able to give it, try enlisting the aid of a wrench. Most screwdrivers are designed so that a wrench can be secured around the handle for additional torque. Do you know of any great life hacks people should know of? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you've enjoyed this video and want to be notified of more like this, then please like the video and subscribe to be amazed. We'll be making more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.